Hello and welcome to Data Cloud Europe 2015 here in Monaco. My name is Stephen Pritchard and joining us now, our next guest is Ed Cook, who is a partner at Bird and Bird. Ed, welcome. Thank you. You've been carrying out a survey, I think it's an ongoing survey, into attitudes among uh, CEOs and other senior business leaders to their data center infrastructure and in particular the impact yeah. of regulation. Firstly, what prompted Bird and Bird to carry out this work? I've had a number of conversations with uh, people in the data center industry, a number of my clients, um, and just uh, there's an increasing interest from clients in terms of the regulations that affect the industry and how that might uh, change their business models or change their business practices. In fact, sometimes where it might create some opportunities for them, where it might create some limitations for them. Um, and I think for particularly for C-suite people, it's a, it's a real concern because a lot of the regulatory items are mandatory and therefore they're the people in the firing line if it, if it all goes wrong. So that's, it's really driven by the fact that we've had a number of conversations with clients and it seemed to be an item which was top of their agenda and something that was important to them. So that's why we decided to do a survey. Now I should stress that this work is ongoing, the survey is not completed yet. That's correct, yeah. So we've no, got no, some no. interim results to, to kind of talk about. But, yeah. but nonetheless yeah. you've got some interim findings. So yeah. In terms of the impact of regulatory change, the view seems to be that on the one hand regulators are giving, on the other hand they're taking away. So on balance, perhaps we're more or less standing still. But could you explain that a little bit better for me? Yeah, sure. Well, I think that one of the real problems with the regulatory environment and how it impacts upon data centres is that it impacts such a large number of areas for data centres. So you've got regulations that impact upon data privacy, you've got things that impact on data sovereignty, power, availability, power, costs, you've got taxation, you've got you know, a whole range of different things and it's a bit of a, when it all comes together it becomes an incredibly complex thing to try and manage. And the, the added complication that you then have is that most data centre and cloud providers are running a, a global or certainly multi-jurisdictional operation whereas the laws of a country are within the country. So you, had a, you have an added complexity which is that in your operational stuff, you're trying to deal with multiple laws from multiple different countries, many of which are quite uncoordinated. So that's been one of the, the, the real challenges, I think, for the industry. You're right that um, when you say that it's been relatively, I think people think that it's been relatively neutral in terms of the impact, but, but having said that, it's very complex. So just to try and get a handle on it is, is a, a real challenge for businesses. So which areas have you identified where regulation is perhaps being reduced or made a bit easier for businesses to comply with? Well, I think there's quite a lot of hope that the new data privacy regulations, when they eventually come through, will, will bring a level of consistency because they're being carried out at European-wide level. So there's a hope that that will bring some, some level of consistency to the industry. That hasn't happened yet, uh, but it's on its way, we're told. Um, and so that's an area where I think there could be some positive change um, uh, and some simplification of the, of the legislation. Um, having said that, it brings with it the way in which it's being implemented may not be a way in which the industry would like it to be implemented. So I think that's another area that's quite important where trying to ensure that the industry and its interests are properly represented to lawmakers. That actually seems to me to be one of the key themes coming out of the survey. And then there are any particular areas where you feel regulation is becoming more burdensome? Generally speaking, regulation is becoming more burdensome. Um, the areas into which regulators want to touch um, is, is becoming complex. I think when you look at things like the Internet of, the Internet of Things, that creates uh, a problem for regulators because so much of the data that is being collected is about individuals. It's personal data about individuals, their activities, what they're doing, uh, and it's very, that's the kind of stuff that regulators really are worried about, what happens to that information. So the advent of the Internet of Things, I think, will, will result in greater pace of, of regulatory change. What's the impact being on businesses, and what are your CIOs and CEOs reporting in terms of what they're having to do to address these regulatory challenges? So in the survey, uh, when we, we asked that question actually, which was um, to what extent 
uh, has regulatory change impacted your business and what have you had to spend money basically to make changes um, and the answer to that question was most people had realized that they did need to spend some money in order to change some of their business practices to fit in with what their new regulatory environment was people are having to spend quite a lot of money just to keep track of what the regulatory changes are uh, even if they're not having to make big changes to their, their, their business operation and is it also changing the way that people do business are they becoming more conscious of the fact that regulations may come in areas such as privacy and therefore the attitude to privacy, the attitude to data protection needs to be reviewed if not revised? Possibly. I think for some, some of the better informed businesses they are actually trying to find the opportunities through regulatory change. So for example if you're a, a data centre provider or a cloud provider that's providing services within Germany let's say then you, you're aware that German data sovereignty laws have recently changed and that provides an opportunity for you because there's a, there's a market demand there of, of people who need to retain their data in Germany. So having that knowledge enables you to perhaps create a market for yourself. If you didn't know that then you might suddenly wake up and have a big surprise when all of your German data centre customers have to leave your data centre and stick their data in one in Germany. It is just having that knowledge, I think, is, is the tricky bit. And given the complexity that you'd identified, how can, in particular, CIOs who are not necessarily from a legal background yeah. stay on top of this and make sure that they're not you know, inadvertently falling foul of a regulation someplace? Well, I suppose as a lawyer I would say they need to speak to their lawyers, but uh, which is a <laughs> kind of a self-serving statement, I suppose. But. Um, it is, a, it is a real challenge. I think um, we will certainly look to, to publish a service where we can start to, to alert people to changes that are coming down the, down the tracks. Um, but I think it's, it's symptomatic of a, uh, something, a wider issue really, which is that the industry needs to be talking to lawmakers much more. Um, and I think it needs to go with a, with a more uniform voice to lawmakers. Because one of the problems that we do identify is that Typically legislation is, is made at a kind of fairly broad level. So it doesn't necessarily take account of the interests of any particular industry. And that can have some fairly odd unintended consequences when you apply it to any specific industry. And of course with data centres that's particularly apparent. So I think it is incredibly important that when we hear about legislative change which is in the, in the making, we ensure that the interests of the industry are represented to those people who are making those changes and who are bringing that law in. Um, because otherwise you, you'll end up in a situation where you can't potentially comply with, with rules. So uh, just going back to the data privacy issue, we have a number of countries that actually have conflicting rules. So if you're in compliance with the rules of one country, you will potentially be in breach of the rules of another country. It's incredibly un uncoordinated. And that, that needs to be resolved. Really. So perhaps there's an opportunity for industry leaders to have a common voice and explain the practical impacts of some of these things. That's the kind of call to action I think for the industry and that's certainly the, the message that's coming out of the survey for us is, is that that's what needs to happen. Well, Ed Cook from Bird and Bird, thank you very much. Thank you.